Have you ever started something and wondered whether what you're doing is actually legal? That's an idea with this week. <laughs> also, I'll show you a little bit about uh, my everyday life. I've always been somebody who's taken huge steps towards a goal, towards a project. Um, whenever I wanted to do a short film, I'd do it in a few weeks. I don't normally have the patience to do small steps. This has been teaching me patience. It's like growing pains. It hurts while you grow, you know, because it's just something new for me. I'm growing with the process. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel weird to try that. But um, the reason why it's taking so slow is you've got to work to get money. One of the places where I've been working has been a place called Acme. I'm there um, half my time, I'm there. And this morning, I thought I'd show you just how I get there and just the building itself. Uh, and then we'll talk about some updates later on and what's been happening this week. Anyway, better you can get to work. the most about going to work on a Sunday is everything's nice and quiet. Normally around this time uh, during the week you've got everyone rushing and uh, now there's sort of no one around. Everyone's asleep which kind of feels nice when you get onto a tram. thing working at Acme because it's so close to it's a well how do I describe it it's basically a museum of film so no matter what I'm kind of working within the same industry and I've done a lot of part-time jobs before that have been completely separate and this feels like it's something a lot closer so ultimately it'll be a day of me helping people have a great time exploring film honestly can't think of anything better Put an egg tag on first. And just like that, the day is done. That's five days in a row here at Acme. And uh, five days. Which, I guess, means that now it's time to work on the film. Now I'm back home and the fun work can begin. So first things first, I want to talk to some entertainment lawyers. I want to get that sorted today. I basically just did a quick search on uh, Google and typed in entertainment lawyers Melbourne. Uh, I'd rather someone here in Melbourne as well. Um, and we'll see what we come up with. I'd obviously love to call these lawyers and have you listen in to the conversations, but I'm not really sure on the legalities of it yet. The first person I spoke to, uh, he was great. I spoke to him about um, the legalities of it all and, and what we need to do, uh, and if he could give me a quote. And now I know money is not really a big factor in terms of like getting something done well, um, but it is it is kind of a big factor for me because it's something that um, I feel like I'm doing as an assurance as opposed to. A, um, a necessity and so therefore I need to make sure it's worth my while but um, so I first spoke to the first guy and he told me that um, he gave me a quote of around 750 to a thousand dollars to acquire life rights and I thought that was a bit much 750 to 1000 okay uh, that's right for you let's call someone else Number two. Um, a few others went straight to uh, voicemail. Um, uh, a woman, she spoke to me and said that, you know, she couldn't give me a quote until I gave her all, like, the information and, and um, all the documents and things like that. So I just didn't, um, 
I uh, didn't go down that route straight away. And then I spoke to a man who, funnily enough, I'd actually met twice before, but I don't think it'd be one of those two of those meetings that he would remember, if you know what I mean. Uh, nonetheless, um, he spoke to me. He gave me a wonderful sort of rundown on what I need and everything like that. So basically, he was saying to me that... Um, if you think about the crown, let's say the crown, uh, they didn't get life rights for the story from Queen Elizabeth. However, they're able to make it, but getting life rights sort of assures you to a few things. I think everyone just gets on the same page straight away, as opposed to, as opposed to anyone wondering if there could be more of this or that. There's an agreement in place and saying, this is the way it is. Yeah. It's just, everyone knows where we stand and we can move forward together making this film together as opposed to oh look it's just me making this film i actually have three script consultants in the people who were actually there uh and i feel it's also doing right by the family uh by telling their story if you know what i mean so that's it life rights uh which has been really cool uh to speak to somebody who i just had a really great feeling as soon as I answer the phone. Basically now I'm just sending all my documents that I'm going to have um, and he'll give me basically a few days and then he'll start sending me everything that I need to give him. So that's really cool. So overall it's been a pretty slow week in terms of overall progress on this film. However, I feel like I'm in a really good position now just to continue and um, now that I've got the entertainment lawyer. But uh, otherwise, I'll see you then. Ciao.